Definitely How does Skin the Watermelon own that? What does this have? 150 million views. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. XQCF. It looks like a pill. Oh my gosh. What the? Do you want to know how I did it? How? So I'm going to make a video about this, right? In a couple weeks, I'm going to put it on YouTube. You can watch the video and then you'll see how I did it. Oh <laughs> Half a year subbed, longer as a broke chimp in chat anyways, XQCL. So a while back I made a video about how you could use a coat hanger and a drill to make a watermelon smoothie. And a bunch of you actually did it and told me everyone in your party thought it was awesome, albeit slightly creepy. So this is another watermelon party trick and the key is to start with two watermelons that are similar in shape and size. Oh. And then you want to just make a bunch of shallow straight cuts until there's no green left. That's not cool though. And then for round two, you want to harness your inner fruit ninja and just make a bunch of little slices until there's only red left. And this looks okay, but the problem is you can still see a lot of edges from the flat cuts. But some brand new dish scrubbing pads Ugh. make for great watermelon sandpaper. And then it gets super smooth. So the second watermelon's pretty straightforward. You just cut it in two halves, gut it using your favorite method. This is watermelon you could actually eat later at the party as well. It's new but still. And then carve out both halves. What's the point? There's really no point. So the coolest part is now you can put it back together and take it to the party like this. Just don't forget to chill it beforehand. And this totally works for any size watermelon. I just kind of whatever. And you can get creative too. This is sort of like an impossible ship in a bottle type of concept. But, yeah, that's that's kind of obvious. Okay. You are watching a jewelry heist about to go down. Cops say the lady in the hat is trying to snatch a fortune in dazzling gems. This woman was planning on leaving with $7 million worth of diamonds without us even knowing it. Jeweler Bobby Yampolsky says when the woman entered his exclusive store in Boca Raton, Florida, he led her directly to the giant vault where his most exquisite gems are stored. This is actually the vault that I brought her into and uh, this is where we usually bring our larger clients look at more important things. They struck a deal for 11 rings, valued at $7 million. It was then that she made her move, asking to wrap up the jewels herself. She brought her own materials. She actually put her own roll of tape out and a bunch of tissues and a little pouch. She was so nervous, I think, her hands were actually shaking. Watch as she slips the package into her black briefcase. Now watch as she does the big switcheroo, handing him a package that was filled with fake gems and diamonds. The jeweler says the scam was so obvious, it was almost laughable. He grabs her briefcase, then there's a physical struggle. She wasn't letting it go. She was holding on to that briefcase. What? He knows that was just terrible. What to do. He shuts the glass door, then slams shut the giant steel door, locking her inside the vault. We have a lady here who tried to scam us. We locked her in the safe. Watch as the woman <laughs> desperately tries to shove the phony package up her skirt. When that fails, she rips it into pieces. Within 10 minutes, police were on the scene. She was actually very calm. She actually handed him a $50 bill and asked him to go uh, pay the taxi that was waiting for her outside. I mean, it was, it was almost comical. 46-year-old Fatima Milanovic was arrested. Instead of walking away with millions, she ended up locked in the vault herself. The suspect now faces charges of grand theft and organized fraud. She has pled not guilty. Not guilty? I mean, she won't get any time off then. Right? Low W. <laughs> Oh. oh, they were burnt. Okay. Mm. I, I swear. They don't like guitar picks. <laughs> I had all of them, though. <laughs> no. You found it? Oh, God. Oh, they were burnt, burnt. <laughs> oh, that was charred like, in half. Huh? How is this motherfucker gonna look me straight in my face and said and say, "They're pretty good, dude." 
How are you gonna say I'm that? I'm being nice to the host, man. <laughs> Soda master. From the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. Nah, it's a car. A flying car prototype recently completed a test flight, flying over half an hour from Nitra to Bratislava in the Eastern European country of Slovakia. The air car is the brainchild of designer Stefan Klein. Klein also piloted the craft. Air car features cool looking retractable wings that this can looks transform dumb. it from a plane to a car in three minutes. It has a fixed propeller powered by a 160 horsepower BMW engine and has a maximum cruising speed of 118 miles per hour. This flight isn't Air Car's first air rodeo. It's already logged over 40 hours in the sky. 118? Of then why bother flying then? There are already plans Just in the drive. for a more powerful Prototype 2. Klein says his flying car could ease traffic congestion on roads. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Klein told reporters he hopes to one day bring the air car to the consumer market. Though that day may be sometime... Uh, over the ocean! The Dude, you're not getting over the ocean with this. Sure. This is Inside Edition Digital. What is this? Keep trying. Okay, should I just keep spamming it? Dude, what is this game, dude? Oh, there we go! The lower deck. Jesus Christ, way too dangerous. Jesus. Keep dude, what a shit show this game, dude. Okay, what is this? Okay, watch both of those, chat. Same thing. Good. It's the screen. Who uses that? Like that's gonna help us. <laughs> dude, dude, whenever we play online on, on Nintendo, if one person lags, everybody lags. So who cares if you have good internet? Somebody, somebody, somebody in your game has a fucking wooden fucking internet and it's XQC, GG, it doesn't matter. XQC, LXQC, LXQC. <laughs> 